Good morning everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. First day back on Oakfield for a couple of weeks. We've been concentrating on New Park Farm and Purbeck Valley, so it's nice to be back here. And what a week it's been. Wow. Um, don't really know where to start. Um, first of all, a huge thank you to Silver News for the shout out in his Friday roundup. I guess a lot of you watching this maybe picked up the channel from there. So, I mean... I'm astounded how many new subs I've got. Thank you all so much for, for taking the time to sub and check out the videos. Um, it's really great for somebody who's just starting a new channel. And secondly, um, we have uh, taken delivery just today, actually, of the heavy equipment bundle by Logitech. So it's going to change the way we play the game a bit. I have to say, I had a little bit of a play before just to get some of the controls set up. Um, it takes a bit of time. Uh, I'm not used to it yet. Uh, I notice a huge difference in the in the handling, in the driving side of things, which is great. So you can expect a bit more cab driving now. It's early morning, start of a new day. Let's check how much uh, silage has fermented. That is ready. Great stuff. So really, other than um, some hay, which we haven't created yet. We've got a lot of straw. Um, we're well on the way to getting all the feed ready for our uh, cows arriving in a few weeks. And what I'll actually do, as I'm here, first thing we'll do is we'll go and pick up a bit more straw. The smoothness of the steering, one of the challenges I always had with, with the keyboard was it was all or nothing so you found yourself kind of twitching down the road because all you could do was um, be on full lock or nothing with the steering wheel now I can uh, make minor adjustments feels more natural, feels a lot more natural actually um, I've not driven a tractor for a few years now but certainly when I did, when I did harvest and and uh, things back on my dad's farm, um, it feels not a million miles away from the same kind of handling. I um, turned on the sensitivity, turned um, up the sensitivity, should a bit, should I say, when I when I first got it. It had a dead spot of 14%, which basically means you rotate the the wheel 14% before you get any any feedback or any action. Um, and uh, it was just a little little too non-responsive so I've tweaked that a little bit um, I'm still trying to work on loads of buttons to get them right but uh, we're getting there so if I have to pop up the the menu in the top corner lots bear with me but I'm still using the mouse to look around and I can't remember which buttons are which sometimes I think, I think that's right. Yep. Getting better at it already. Let's get another load in here. Um, like I said, we'll, we want to gather up all the all the food we need for the cows just before they arrive, um, which will then mean we can start to uh, start to make some milk. Um, and equally, we need to get some crops in the ground as well. Now I don't want to grow um, wheat and barley and oats necessarily. Um, I'm going to look for something that's a little bit more lucrative. Maybe soybeans, canola, things like that. Um, and we don't need too much straw, so straw as a byproduct is great when you need it. It's uh, a lot of work that needs to be done if you don't need it just to sell it. It's not that lucrative. So we'll um, probably switch to crops that don't give you straw as a byproduct in the future. Um, but this is our this is our biggest field. Um, at the moment anyway. There you go. If there's long pauses in this video, it's probably me working out what I should be doing. 
but uh, I have to say it's it's really good fun with the wheel. Um, I think in the future, if you guys want to understand a little bit more about how the how the wheel and the, and the side panel work, I'm happy to do a video on it. Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, maybe consider doing something with a with a webcam so you can see a picture in picture of me working the uh, working the wheel as I'm uh, as I'm playing. So if that interests you, let me know. And the other thing uh, I was going to ask is really, if you're interested, um, would would a live stream work? Um, would you be interested in me doing a live stream? I'd be happy to uh, uh, do something like that in the future. Just going to check behind them; still going. Yeah, things are looking good. Um, I was going to take that line to the left there but actually if I run down to the bottom here I'm going to be full up anyway soon so I mean there's so much straw on this field so much straw on this field sorry banging my mouse off the keyboard there there's not a lot of space with all this gear up here uh, and I must give a shout out to James McKnight who asked very nicely in the comments if I would give him a shout out so hello James thanks for subscribing it's much appreciated my friend just jumped to an out of out of tractor shot just for a bit of a change shall we So when I built this extra bit of the farm, I definitely was thinking ahead for once. I'm giving myself the option of being able to drive around buildings so I didn't have to reverse into tight spots. So now I've got an option on my wheel now to spin around. It feels a bit slower than the, the, the mouse. Um, I've not really found the one that works for me the best yet. Also overcompensating on my reversing with machinery. Something I need to work on. But the pedals are good. Start overloading. Now I should have a button for that on my uh, control panel. There we go. Right, should I get on four? There we go. So apologies. Like I said, still getting used to it. So we have put, I would say, just over 100,000 litres in this shed now of straw. It does take 250,000, so we'll put some more in it before too long. I'm sure you don't want to watch me do four loads of straw straight off the bat. So let's park this guy up. Jump out. Um, choices, choices. Let's go so. <laughs> Want to play with this ATRX since I uh, got it from the shop. So I'm going to sow a field. Remember we limed this field down at the bottom next to the big field last time, so now I would usually course play one of these, but because I've got the wheel, I am gonna drive it manually. I'm gonna do the whole field manually. I'll put it on a I'll put it on a time lapse for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I've stopped that very quickly. Um, because I'm having a lot of um, uh, frame drops issues. Uh, my frame rate's gone really bad. I've noticed this a couple of times before using this tractor. Um, don't know if it's an issue with this tractor. Um, not sure if it's being picked up on the recording either, but uh, my gameplay is really jerky. So what I'm going to do is um, just swap it for another tractor. Getting stutters and everything. does seem to only be a problem with this tractor. I think, I'm not sure if anybody else who's downloaded this from SID Modding has had any issues with it, um, or has seen any, any comments about issues with it. Certainly for me, it's quite stuttery. So let's just whip this back up to the farm. It's actually getting worse, the stutters. Let's whip this back up to the farm. I've got a, a nice 8RX with Julie's on. Uh, sorry, an 8R sitting with Julie's on, which will do the sewing job perfectly. Let's jump into this bad boy though. This is a great tractor. So, a bit of a challenging start to the day. You see, this is super smooth. So it does feel like it's an issue with the um, with that tractor, that mod. I don't know what. So, like I said, I, you know, I, I didn't spend any time in a cab, to be honest. Before the wheel, um, it's just it's just very difficult with the keyboard. Pressing the wrong buttons there. Okay, less talking from me. More sewing. I'll be back shortly. don't we? So we've got this little 6M here with a front loader on it so we've picked up a bit of seed go and drop it back in the drill um, and actually this is one of the things I've noticed with the, uh, the heavy equipment bundle the, the control of the front loaders it's got a joystick on the side panel which just makes it so much easier so much easier also helps if I look where I'm going but there we are this will be fun actually I've done this before. I need to judge where things are at. Oh, 
Look at that. All done with the joystick. Refill server, there we go. We are full. We'll pop this tractor just at the edge of the field. Let's jump back in this guy and get this field done. say while we're just while we're driving around here um i am going to do an american map i'm really keen to do an american map i know some of my viewers are american um so i'd love to hear from you guys what map would you like me to do i'll be absolutely honest i was hanging off the millennial farms map but uh i'm not sure when it's going to arrive so it may be that we do something else uh, i love stone valley uh it's a great map i'd happily do something on stone valley uh, I did think maybe a Welker Farms as well. I know it's been out for a long time. Um, and I'm not sure how many people play it anymore. I know it's a, over a year old now. Or should I wait for the Millennial Farmer map to come out? What do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments below. But I'm very conscious I have three British farms on the go. So it's time to diversify a bit. And look at me missing my row. Shame. Anyway, back to it. So there we have it, coming to the end of the field. I'm sure the purists out there will be rolling their eyes. That wasn't the most elegant, but to be honest, it was good fun getting used to this wheel. Um, I'm not sure why this first stage of growth happened around the edge of the field. I mean, I've only been planting since about half eight game time. I'm five times speed uh, and my crop growth is set to normal. So I shouldn't have been, uh, shouldn't have been over the top, but it's there. Uh, it just makes it look a bit odd, but there we go. End of the uh, end of the field. So we'll fold this back up. Um, obviously, we had a few problems refilling the cedar. It's not the uh, not the best cedar. I might switch this for a different one at some point in the future. But for now, that's that job done. We don't have any other fields ready to sow, so. We'll, uh, we'll drop this back at home. Tuck it in a shed somewhere. Go back and get that little tractor. And obviously call it a night here. Um, just a short episode. Uh, again, really just wanted to reiterate my thanks to all my new subscribers. Uh, and again to Silver News. 
for taking the time to check the channel out and then give it a shout out on his channel. Uh, I've got to say, I've been so, so impressed with the farming sim community since I started this channel uh, just over a month ago. Uh, and to be up at last count 138 subscribers in just over a month, I'm, I'm amazed. So thank you, I'm glad you like my content. I hope I can keep giving you some good content and um, entertaining you. Uh, and I want you guys to let me know what you want to see. Uh, and I can be able to give you what you want. If it's more challenge type series, if it's tutorials, if it's you know more fun play like this, um, just let me know in the comments and uh, I will see what I can do. But for, for now, thank you so much and uh, I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.